Hello friends, I warmly welcome you to the maiden edition of your source of power on Tuesday morning word with Daniel Opan. I believe you are having a good time and I believe you are alive. Now in today's episode, I want to share with you an important aspect which you shouldn't I mean, forget as you move out I mean, and carry out your duties for today. I want to tell you that your environment affects you and therefore your immediate environment you know, has the most influence yes, on you. And therefore, I want to tell you that you should surround yourself with people who radiate positive energy. Yes, because even if you look at chemistry, you know, we're told that light dissolves light. So that, for instance, if you are polar solvent, you will dissolve polar substances. If you are non-polar solvent, you are going to dissolve non-polar, you know, substances. Even in living systems, we experience this phenomenon. For instance, I mean, if my temperature is higher or is greater than yours, and then we get closer, then what will happen is that heat will have to move, okay, from me to you until you know equilibrium is that kind of established so invariably yes once you associate with someone one way or the other his or her influence yes is manifested in your life again yes if you look at this bone which you call the color bone the lay person will call the color bone or the clavicle it's actually a long bone now we expect that every long bone generally should undergo what we call endochondral ossification Otherwise, what we call the intracarlaginous ossification. Okay, you shouldn't form bone, you know, from scratch. You should usually use a cartilage model and then eventually convert it to become bone. And then flat bones, okay, generally, yes, what, what happens is that they undergo what we call, you know, intramembranous ossification. Yes, formation of bone from connective tissue mesenchyme, from scratch, actually. Now, what is happening is that for instance, scapula, which we call the shoulder blade, is a flat bone. And therefore, as expected, you should undergo intramembranous ossification. In the case of the clavicle being a long bone, okay, you should undergo endochondral ossification. But surprisingly, because of yes, the lateral aspects of the clavicle being you know very close, closely related to, of course, the acromion of the scapula, then what is happening is that majority of the shafts, okay of the you know the clavicle you know laterally and the goes what we call i mean intramembranous ossification so what am i saying bad company corrupts good banners okay be with people yes who profess positive things so that you also you know get affected by that for instance when i was in the primary school i had you know very good handwriting I think I still has it. I still have it. But you see, what happened was there was one guy who was not having a very good handwriting, but decided, you know, to I mean, become very close to me. And by virtue of that, he learned the way I write. He took his time. He studied the way I write. And then in no time, he also got a very good handwriting. Yes, there are several examples, you know, that are my testimony of. You know, for instance, when I got to the junior high school, even the senior high school, there were some people who saw something positive in me and therefore decided to associate themselves, you know, with me. Because of that, they also, you know, had, you know, good results at the end of the day. So it's very important that, yes, all these things, what I'm saying is that one important thing, your emotion, okay, the emotions that you have, Yes, it's an important pillar, okay, who is going to keep you. And therefore, be with people who will encourage you, okay, associate yourself with people who will see good things, okay, out of you. Do not associate with people who will always make you feel bad, who will always make you, I mean, despise you. No, if you want to really, you know, move up and of course, do a very good work, okay, every day in the morning as a student, as a worker, whatever. You have to associate yourself. Yes, listen to things that are positive. Okay, so that you spice up your day and then you're able to do very well. Okay, so this morning, what I'm telling you is that 
as the maiden edition of your source of power for the day on Tuesday morning word. What we are saying is that please radiate yourself. I mean, surround yourself with people, you know, who radiate positive energy. Okay? Never associate with people who always talk negativity. No. Because whatever, I mean, you say with your mouth, you know, usually comes to pass. Say good things. Be with people who say good things about you. Okay? And you are going to do well. Once again, tonight, on Tuesday, Night Anatomy with Daniel Ockman, I have a video for you. In that video, we continue with muscles of facial expression. You know, we are going to look at the, I mean, upper group of mouth muscles. Okay? You know, talk about, you know, levator, angularis, you know, I mean, levator, I mean, labi superioris, and of course, levator, labi superioris, alakinesi. Yes, we'll be looking at all these, I mean, ones. So do make a date tonight as we journey through this one. This morning, may you have a nice day and may the good Lord, you know, grant you the mercies and of course the grace for the day. Have a good night. Sorry, have a good morning and have a nice day. May God richly bless you. Amen.